Hello folks, welcome to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can configure CloudTrail for multiple accounts and write their log files into a single bucket. Say for example, you have a SecOps account as you can see in here and you want to give your auditors and security team access to only one bucket but still access all the information from all the different accounts like dev, test and prod, how to do that. What you need to do is you need to create a bucket for all the cloud trails that will come get stored and then configure the local cloud trail for this account that is SecOps accounts cloud trail into this bucket. And then you create a specialized bucket policy. So what this bucket policy is going to do is this will uh, allow other accounts to write to this bucket. Once you have done this step, then you go to your other account, for example, dev account, configure cloud trail here and allow these logs to be written there. Likewise, you can add any number of accounts and send their CloudTrail logs into the SecOps account. Let us go to our dashboard and see how we can do all these steps. So this is the S3 bucket that we are going to use to store all the accounts log files. So I have named this bucket as all account trails SecOps bucket. As you can see here, as of now, if I go to permissions and bucket policy, it is empty. But very soon, once we create the CloudTrail within this account, we will be having this bucket policy updated. So you can see here, this account is called trainer for you and this is the account, num account number. So let us go to CloudTrail itself, the dash dashboard for that. And here I'm in the Virginia region. So I'm going to configure CloudTrail for all the regions. And if you have not done CloudTrail earlier, I would recommend you to watch my previous video on why you need to configure CloudTrail and what are all the settings. So I'm just going to quickly fill in all the details here. And I would always recommend you to go ahead and configure it for all the regions. And since we are not doing it for an organization, just leave it as no. I'm just going to leave it all the other things as default only. And since we already have created a bucket, click no here and go ahead and fill in the value here saying all account trail SecOps bucket. And if you're doing in production, I would strongly recommend you to go ahead and do encryption and log validation so that there is no tampering or man in the middle attack that is happening. So you ensure that whatever is generated at the source will be received at the end also. Let us go ahead and create a trail. Typically for any new logs to come into your bucket, it takes five minutes. But when you go there into your bucket right now and refresh your screen, there will be default dummy entry there. There won't be any log files there. Likewise, if I go to permissions, there will be default bucket policy for this account saying this account can write it here. So this is the policy that we need to update so that other accounts also have to write here. So all you need to do is basically just up, uh, enter one more resource here. If you're not sure how to modify it, Amazon has you covered here. They have written a nice article here for setting bucket policies for multiple accounts. If you can see here, the only line that changes is you need to add the resource number and then the account number also for the other accounts. So all we have to do is change this string into an list here. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to put a square brackets. And since we need to duplicate this whole value, I'm just going to copy this and put a comma here and then add one more value here. So this needs to be updated for the new account number. So let us go to our my new account that I have logged in already in another browser. So here you can see here, I'm in an account called as finance. I'm going to cloud trail now. Let us go there. And remember, we need the account number. If you want to need the account number, you can go to this account section and copy the account number. So I have already copied it. So I'm going to go back and paste it there. So I'm just going to remove this text and put the new text. Click on save. Let us go to overview now. And under AWS logs, as of now, you see here only one account number is there. In a short while, we will see one more account number also here. Let us go to the other account and start configuring CloudTrail there. I'm just going to copy this bucket name so that we can use it there. This is tricky. Let us copy this. So we are in the finance account now. Click on trail. I'm going to say all trails to SecOps account. And once again, I'm going to say all the regions and leave it as default. I'm going to use an existing bucket. So I'm just going to type in the bucket name here. You can see here, it immediately prompts me which bucket I want to write in. I'm just going to say, yes, this is the bucket I want to write in. And I'm going to say, click on create. There's a small problem there. I should have copied it only this much. And then, yeah. So let us go ahead and click on create. Now my trail is getting created. And within five to 10 minutes, we will be start seeing log files from this account being sent to 
the other account that is secops account so i'm just going to wait for until the new log files come so that we can go ahead and check it out there so i'm just going to refresh my screen here so that we can see the new account there you go you see that there is one more entry i'm just going to log into this account so to see whether there is any log files as you can see here there is already a dummy information that is coming in here so this is how you configure multiple accounts to send information to a single bucket and you provide your auditors access to this single account and they can do some log processing using some elk stack or they can use some other data log processing systems to find out whether it's any anomaly or the under do a pattern behavior analysis to see whether somebody is accessing a resource which they shouldn't be or if there is a deviation from the usual access patterns so if you want to do log analysis go and watch my video on elastic log search and how we can do ingestion of your logs, uh, CloudTrail logs into your ELK stack and analyze them. I would strongly recommend you to use CloudTrail if you have not done it already. Go ahead and try it out. And if there are any problems, put them in the comments. We will help each other and learn from each other. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.